Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm out in my shop and uh, I thought I'd show you a project I made a couple of years ago that just makes life a little bit easier for me. So if you look behind me, you can see I've got a handful of motorcycles back there. I am a uh, self-professed motorcycle nut. I ride them, I restore them, I buy them and sell them, but I buy more than I sell. And uh, it takes up a lot of space. Let's flip the camera around and take a look. All right, so here we are in the, in the lower part of my shop, and you can see I've got a handful of bikes down here. Most of these are my riders. These are, these are bikes I, uh, I ride as often as I can. And the problem is you run out of room quickly. So what did I do? Well, I've actually got a nice building here, the full second story, as you can see by the stairs going up here. So what I did a couple of years back was build myself a motorcycle lift. Let me get a better shot of what's going on. Not fantastic, but I'm standing on my stairway going upstairs. And if we look up, you can see what I've got mounted is a pickup truck crane with an 800 pound winch attached to it. And I've got that bolted down through the floor, straddling the 12 inch beam that holds up my whole second floor with that steel mount that I fabricated to spread the load across or at least in my imagination to spread that load across. And then I've got an opening here in the floor with a gate that swings back and forth. So what I do when I have something up top, like that Honda mini trail you can see behind there that I need to get down, it's a process of opening this gate, swinging the crane over to the floor, hooking up the bike, swing it in into this space and then lowering it down into the shop below. So I'm going to actually bring that little bike down so you can see what I'm talking about. So in an ideal world I would have more space but I certainly can't complain about the space that I have. So the first thing I do is I roll my two cabinets that typically take up my landing area out of the way. So now I've got a clear path to actually lower a bike down. Now keep in mind the bikes that I have upstairs are all well under 400 pounds. I don't lift anything seriously heavy and I really have no desire to but it's nice to have that extra space up there. So apologies for the terrible lighting here but basically what we're looking at this is a half ton pickup truck crane that I just slightly modified so that I could use this uh, 440 single line hoist basically made this uh, this mounting plate out of some quarter inch angle iron welded that all up together and I uh, use that to mount it through the crane and again got threaded rod going down and secured to my the main beam that holds up this whole second floor I extended the controller so that I can use it from downstairs. And I typically keep this at, uh, at a short setting. Actually works reasonably well. So basically you can see I've pivoted the crane around so it's up here on my floor. I've got my mini bike connected. And I'm gonna lift it up just a little bit. And this might be a little bit tight. I might have to change those straps a little bit. Then I'm going to pivot it back out over the space and lower it down. So actually, as I'm looking at this, I don't have a lot of room to lift, so I'm going to change those straps a little bit. Hold on. All right, so here we are about ready to go. Bike in the air. I'm going to pivot the crane so the bike is over the opening, and uh, we're going to lower it down. Simple as that. We'll see what happens. All right, here we are, bike successfully dropped down to the bottom. Here's our pathway back up. And you can see on my 
on the winch there, which is a Harbor Freight purchase, I extended the cord so that I can run it from down here. And uh, that's pretty straightforward and that's all there is to it. Handy little gadget. I'd also file this under the category of don't do this at home. This is something that makes it easier for me here, but uh, obviously, you know, this is uh, something you can get yourself into trouble with rather quickly if you don't know what you're doing. I might not know what I'm doing, but I'm pretty careful with it. So that's it for today, guys. And uh, at some point in time, you're gonna see a little video on this really cool Honda 125 Z50 hybrid I've got going on. So stay tuned for that. Take care. All right, so end of video, cool shop things. Hope, uh, hope this inspires somebody. Just be careful fooling around with this stuff, all right? Thanks, guys. Take care.